All right, welcome to Fort Drum. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Mark Cleveland. Uh, I've served in the division for over half of my career, and I have a special place in my heart for the 10th Mountain Division, Fort Drum, and the North Country. Uh, so behind me is Hayes Hall. It's named after the first division commander to lead the, the 10th Mountain Division in combat in Italy during World War II. And we're gonna go in there and I'll give you a tour. You can see all the cool things that we have on the halls and the pictures that are hanging on the walls um, and some of the memorabilia that we've brought back with us from the different deployments. Uh, but I just wanna take a quick opportunity and tell you uh, thanks very much for what you do for the 10th Mountain Division and Fort Drum. So as the guy that came up here as a brand new second lieutenant, right out of infantry officer basic course in ranger school, uh, I got sent to Fort Drum and I drove up here and I was on IE-1 uh, and I was super excited to come up here. And when I got here, I knew this place was just a little bit different. Uh, you know, if you've ever been to another army post, it just feels different than Fort Drum. Fort Drum's a beautiful installation, and one of the things that makes it so great are the people that surround it. I feel connected to the North Country. I think the thing that makes this post, this organization so special is the community and the community partners that surround it. So that's a little bit about me. Let's learn a little bit more about the division. One of the first things you'll notice when you come into any military headquarters uh, or army headquarters for that matter is all the leadership photos that greet you at the entryway. <clears throat> so on this side you can see we've got the division command group with our commanding general, the division command sergeant major, and then the two deputy commanding general officers, one for operations, the other for support, and the chief of staff. And then on the other wall you'll see we've got core leadership, force comm, the army, and then our secretary of the Army, of Defense, and then the Commander-in-Chief. So, if you look at this flag, you can see all the pictures of the fallen soldiers that have died or been KIA on the different deployments that the headquarters and our subordinate units have participated in. We've got a kiosk here with all the letters of the alphabet where you can come in and if you're looking for a specific soldier, like if you're a Gold Star family member uh, or you're a veteran uh, from you know, one of the organizations and you want to look up uh, someone that you served with previously, you can find their last name. It'll come up and you've got the soldier's picture, their name and their bio. And then there's a, uh, a button over here that says Find My Memorial. So. When we leave here, we'll go and take a look at uh, Memorial Park, but essentially all the names that are in this kiosk are also <clears throat> on bronze plaques around Heroes Walk out in Memorial Park. So if you're a soldier or a family member and you want to pay tribute to a fallen soldier, this is a place where you can come, see that soldier, be reminded of their bio, and then go out and see their name on the plaque where it's listed next to all the other soldiers uh, that were on that deployment that lost their lives uh, as well. So that's our Hall of Heroes. It's in the center of the headquarters for a reason, and it's the first thing you see when you come in, and it's because it helps us remember what we do, why it's important, because it helps us remember why we do what we do and why it's important. So that's the Hall of Heroes. Over here you can see the four Medal of Honor recipients in the division. So there's actually five, uh, but the fifth one is Lieutenant General George Hayes, and he earned his in World War I, so he's not included in this list. But the first one is PFC John McGrath. He earned his Medal of Honor uh, during World War II uh, in Italy. And as a matter of fact, there's a film about him uh, that a museum in Italy put together, and they recently premiered that film at Fort Drum during Mountain Fest. It was really fun. Uh, the next person is Sergeant First Class Jared Monty. Uh, earned his Medal of Honor in Afghanistan. Uh, you might have heard his name before. Uh, there was a song that was written about him, and specifically his truck. Uh, and it was based on something that his dad shared 
about driving his truck around after he was gone and uh, a country music singer wrote a song about it and it went on to win uh, some awards. Uh, if you go over to the Fort Drum 10th Mountain Division Museum, it talks more about uh, th th those awards and, and the, the behind the, the music. Um, the next person, Staff Sergeant Travis Atkins, uh, he earned his Medal of Honor in Iraq uh, by essentially sacrificing himself uh, against a, uh, a suicide bomber uh, so that the soldiers that were also serving beside him uh, were not put at risk. The last person, and one of only a handful of people who's still living, so they weren't awarded posthumously, uh, is a guy named Will Swenson. So he earned his Medal of Honor uh, as a captain in Afghanistan. Uh, as I understand it, he got out of the military for a little while and then ended up coming back in. As a matter of fact, I've recently had a conversation with him. Uh, he's also a lieutenant colonel and he just retired recently. Uh, so I know he's looking forward to the, the next chapter of his life. Um, so those are our Medal of Honor recipients. I mentioned George Hayes. So you can see some pictures of him over here. <clears throat> Again, this is Hayes Hall. It's named after General George Hayes. <clears throat> he wasn't the first division commander because there were a few uh, that stood up the 86th when it was still at Fort Lewis, Washington. Uh, someone else when the division was activated at Camp Hale, Colorado. Uh, but General George Hayes came in when the division was actually at a low point. Uh, they had been moved from Camp Hale to Camp Swift, Texas. All of the mountain training that they had, had learned and uh, grown accustomed to, that kind of lifestyle, that mountain lifestyle is different than a lot of other um, infantry units may have experienced. Um, but they were, they were being trained to be a flatland infantry division. So they were kind of losing that mountain heritage. Uh, so morale was declining and uh, the future was uncertain and the soldiers weren't sure if they were gonna get in the fight and if they were gonna be mountain soldiers. So anyway, George Hayes turned all that around. He came into, uh, he picked them up at Camp Swift. He deployed with them to Italy and uh, you all probably know the story. They went to fight in the Apennine Mountains. They broke the Gothic line uh, and then chased uh, the Germans up through the Po Valley to Lake Garda until the end of World War II. So that's why General George Hayes uh, is so significant to the division. He really saved it, um, saved the mountain heritage, which is the legacy we lean on now.